What's up, guys? Ben Nation here with another episode of Critical Hits. As promised, we have Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. Myself, Eric, and Sam. And well, we're actually not too far into it. We don't want to spoil anything for anybody, so this will hopefully be a fuck you, a spoiler-free <laughs> uh, first impressions video. Uh, thus far, we've accomplished, eh, I'd say, two official missions. Um, we are on episode. Mentally refreshed. We're on episode two now, as we would as we would say that the opening cinematic was episode one, and that's kind of like an on the rails sort of cinematic experience for you. Very creepy though. I really like the the feel of this game so far. I mean, the open world environments kind of threw me off for a moment, but it's actually very satisfying. Going, Planning boss? out, you know, your your operations and. Uh, and executing them. Um, they've kind of taken a lot of elements away here that they had in Metal Gear Solid 3 and 4. Um, the amount of camouflage... Stop seeing me! Or rather the camouflage uh, uh, percentage and also the stress and whatnot on your body while you... Um, while you... Uh, while you're going through the missions and whatnot. Build some shit up. So as you can see, we are on our mother base. This is your home base that you kind of come back to in between missions. Um, you have personnel that you have extracted from mission areas using the Fulton recovery system. If, if anybody had played uh, Ground Zeroes or Peace Walker, you're familiar hey, look, with that. This part's um, under construction, so yeah. you can't go in it. Yeah, it's fairly early on here, so oh. not not much of this base is even accessible. Um, but that'll change as time goes on. Chain with me, boss. How about it? And it's pretty nice, pretty intricate so far. Um, as with other games, you know, you uh, it's primarily stealth. You'll get taken out pretty quickly if you decide to go in with a head, heads, heads on approach. Um, however, um, the game does seem to allow you to do that to an extent. Um, you can upgrade your weapons and upgrade your vehicles and personnel um, to be more combative, uh, such as the helicopter having missiles and an enhanced Gatling gun and stuff of that nature, so you can call it in to really wreak some havoc for you. Now, yeah. as you can see, Snake this time around is a little worn out from battle. He's lost a limb, and that kind of was a bit of a psychological, you know, a psychological uh, wound there for him as well. As you can see, the Walkman <laughs> on his uh, on his belt there, and a lot of this game's story, believe it or not, is going to be told. And look at that shrapnel in his forehead. Yeah, right, right, right. The shrapnel. Um, it explains, um, if you have no prior knowledge of anything else, it explains to you how he got the way he is. Um, but, uh, as I was saying, the story is actually mostly told through cassette tapes now. Um, which I, at first, at first glance, I thought that was a little bit of a, a letdown for me, as the story's always been paramount for me in the series. But I like it so far, it's pretty nice. You can listen to these tapes while you're doing missions, or while you're just dicking around like Sam seems to be doing here. Um, everything is on point. Graphics are stunning. Um, this is being recorded on the PlayStation 4, of course. Um, the audio is fantastic, as far as I can, as far as I've experienced. Um, soundtrack is always exceptional. Voice acting exceptional. Um, Sam? Keeper Sutherland! Right, yeah, right, right, right. So they've replaced Snake's voice, obviously, if you guys are Metal Gear Solid fans. They've replaced the voice, uh, coined by Mr. David Hayter with a key for Sutherland and it's not too bad actually I mean I was I was you know used to the very grizzled deep voice of David Hayter but key for Sutherland does bring a bit more, we need more know, medicinal depth boss. to the character boss. shut you dickle anyways so um, this is mother base um, it's, there's really not too much to see or do here why don't you bring up Not the, right now, anyway. Yeah, yeah, why don't you bring up the iDroid there? Uh, yeah, you just, do. Okay, I'll do, I'll do all of it. Controller changing hands here, kids. Okay, so this is where you're going to be doing most of your kind of uh, intel and whatnot, searching around and stuff. We have uh, Mother Base and all the different operations here, development, upgrading your different Please weapons, specify a project. and whatnot. Each weapon requires a certain number Please of personnel, but also... As you can see, a uh, certain number, a uh, certain amount of currency, and for different items, actually, they need uh, specific requirements such as 
Uh, let's see here. For the helicopter, you may need something very specific. As you can see, you need, you know, a certain amount of common material, fuel resources. Common metal. Cer uh, certain amount of uh, support unit level personnel and whatnot. Yes, yes, yes. So as you can see here, you got uh, air to ground, air to ground missiles, rockets which lack any kind of guidance. You got flares, which they can use against uh, against uh, surface to air missiles and different uh, and different pieces of armor. Right, right, right. So the Fulton upgrades. Um, let's do uh, items. So the Fulton device, right now, we can only carry up personnel and animals. Eventually you'll be able to carry up cargo devices, gun emplacements, and mortars. And you use those, um, actually in PvP. As far as I am to understand. Um, as that'll be kind of covered later, uh, we're not going to be doing any kind, of, any kind of online stuff right now. As to what I'm to understand, that won't even be available until October. But for the most part, essentially what happens here is you establish uh, forward operating bases, and I'm doing air quotes here, um, FOBs, and essentially other players can invade your forward operating bases and steal your personnel and your equipment and your currency. So you have personnel and equipment and whatnot that you lift off of the field with the fault with the upgraded Fulton recovery system to help prevent that. Okay, um, so why don't we get into the mission, shall we? Missions! Alright, so let's, uh, we got a couple of missions here. Our most recent one, we uh, destroyed a communications post. Um, however, it looks like we didn't do everything we needed to do there. We actually... Didn't do everything we needed to do there. So we'll go back and do that again. Um, why don't we do... An elimination. That'll be nice and easy. Ah. Right, right, right. Um, okay, so we gotta call the... Please select a landing zone. Landing zone Calling our helicopter here. Helimochopter. The there we are. Oh, and also, um, you can upgrade your helicopter to arrive way, way quicker. In case you have some kind of problems that you're dealing with. Alright, and here we go. Let's go. Huh? Got you. All right. So, as far as uh, controls here are concerned, very nice, very intuitive. Riding around with your horse is pretty easy. You got square, makes you go a bit faster. If you pull on the reins by pressing down. Animal. Yeah, I could Fulton recover that animal, but I really don't want to. You don't want a sheepies for a home base? Nah. You I'm don't good. like lamb chops? I'm good with it. <laughs> so let's go. Hey, that motherfucker looks tasty. And if you press X, Eat you can actually ass. you can actually hide yourself from view and have it look like there's just a horse running around. So it makes it a lot easier. And it makes it a lot easier to move around quicker. Oop. While uh, enemies shit? are nearby. Diamond! Collecting those assets will raise our GMP. Mm hmm mm hmm You are encouraged to always look around. Making sure that you're picking up everything you possibly can. This looks like a pretty heavy duty facility. Uh yeah, it's a Spetsnaz commander, dude. Fuck. I gotta find a higher you need a higher ground. Yeah. Holy shit. You've arrived at the objective. There we go. Your target should be somewhere in that outpost. And don't forget, he has a Spetsnaz recon detail with him. 
Alright guys, so um, essentially what we're going to do here is we are going to scout this place out and while we while we do this mission, we are going to show you guys different features of the game. Okay, so you can use your binoculars by pressing R1 and Everything you see with your binoculars, you mark. Maybe there's a, what looks like a rat, something like that. Seems to be some kind of fire there, what is that? Okay. And essentially what you want to do before every single mission is come in here and... What was I saying? You gotta make sure that you mark everyone that you can possibly mark and so that way it keeps them marked as you're moving and you're able to see where everyone is and not get ambushed. Hopefully. Yeah. You can always miss people. Yeah, that's very true. That's why you gotta make sure you get like a very very high vantage point and look around as much as you can. But this game is pretty great guys. It's I mean, it's a AAA title, and it's priced appropriately, but I would pay for it. Not even taking into account my previous history with the game series. Oh, you see the guy there? I think that's just a search... searchlight. Fine. Yeah. Be searchlight, then. Oh, there's a guy I didn't see before. I mean, what? Let's go down. There's a jeep. I'm sure I could use that to get out of here. Well, eventually you can start airlifting other stuff. Like you said, once you get those Fulton upgrades, like... Take their weapon emplacements, like you said. You know. Supply containers. And uh, I'm assuming you could take those vehicles, too. Maybe. It looks like they're changing guard shifts. That's another thing too. These, these games have gotten super sophisticated. I mean, Metal Gear Solid 4 was nothing to sneeze at, but uh, this has gotten, this has taken it to the nth degree. Everything is, there's a meticulous amount of detail with absolutely everything. And that guy turned on a fucking searchlight, like an asshole. He's a recon guy, man. Man. They're all reconning it up with their recons and that's the sturdiest building in the area. Gonna be perfect for the target to hold up in. What? No, oh, I guess it just gave me intel on this building. And... Th <laughs> oh. <laughs> these binoculars come with a directional oh. microphone, which is oh. super sweet for hearing chatter between guys. This is a very heavily fortified and area. Yeah, uh. that too. That actually masks your activity to a certain degree. I think I and found it. And you can pick room. up the music. Yeah, that's true. And you can play it yourself. In your Walkman. And in your helicopter, actually. You can um, upgrade it with speakers and have it be like a sort of psychological... Yeah, I don't give a shit about nah, that. Nah, I just give a nah, shit nah, about nah, me, like, nah, turn on your Walkman nah. and be like, boom, 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 boom. And you're just, like, dancing around the fucking battlefield. And people are like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> <laughs> Then you just like shoot everybody and everyone's like, oh my god, he's the master blaster of disaster. Alright, these guys are super highly trained. This is gonna be rough. This is gonna be really rough. I think, um, I think we'll show you a little bit of this and then we will let you go. I mean, we've kind of talked about everything here. Um, we talked about graphics, we talked Shango about, village. we talked about the voice acting, talked about the audio itself. The game world, obviously, is fantastic. Free-flowing game world. Gigantic open world. Mixed in with bits and pieces of hardcore story. Oh, one thing we forgot to mention was like, you know, the missions where you get the new uh, companions and shit. 
Yeah, there are like, there are a number of companions and, and buddies that you can go on missions with. And that's actually very Dude, Might be very helpful. Um, I mean, Quiet acts as a sort of sniper as far as I've seen. But I'm sure you can have other... other companions out here. Nah, it's not gonna work. I'll leave him up. I'll leave, I'll leave him alone. Also, and I'm sure you I guys... Know, dude, you probably want some spets of those guys. Yeah, I suppose. Well, I think those those guys in the inner keep our spets now. I think these guys out here are just man. But I can I can grab them, I guess. Yes. No, I can grab them. That's fine. He's got a radio. A radio dude. Fuck you, man. He well, all of them are radio dudes. Man, fuck that shit. You need to get an interpreter too. Yeah, no, that was the side mission that we decided not to do. You decided. I told you to do the fucking side mission. I asked you, and you were like, "No, nah, dude, we're cool." That's a bold-faced hooker line. Or your bold-faced hooker mouth. <laughs> and there you go. That's how you fault and recover somebody. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. And I believe I've gotten everybody here. Gotta be very careful. Very See, that careful. That guy got on that spotlight and was like, I am not leaving the spotlight. Yeah. Almost as if somebody told them you were coming. Yeah, let's let's start with the conspiracy theories here. All right, <clears throat> so let's try and see what might be the best way to get in here. Hmm. Seems like coming in from the left over there might be the best way. Again, open world, super stealth. You know, you could just like. If you were so inclined, run in there, guns a blazing, and fucking shoot everybody's dickhole off, or you can, you know, do the sneaky make sneakatron. Mm-hmm. It's really however you'd like to play. However, I'm sure that it's a lot more difficult to run and gun. A lot more difficult, but a lot more fun, I bet. Mm, yep, fun for the viewer, at least. Oh. Uh, I'm the guy who'd slit everybody's throat just for shits and giggles. Yeah, that's why the fucking sorrow fight's so difficult for you. <laughs> yeah. If you're un if you're unfamiliar, the sorrow fight is from Metal Gear Solid 3, where basically you fight this dude. You know, you don't actually fight him, but he summons the spirits, I guess, of everybody that you kill in the game, and it accurately depicts what you did to kill them. So, like, you know. You kill somebody with fire, they're running around on fire as they attack you. Would make a good foothold. You can use crag climbing to make your way up. Wow. <laughs> Jack that shit from Assassin's Creed. Um, and in a, in a Metal Gear Solid 3, I had a, let's just say, obsession with slashing the throats of literally everybody I could take hands off. Uh, you know, so once I got to the end of the game, He's coming too. that was Roger pretty that. fucking difficult. But, you know, Captain Stealthimatron over here, he got to the end of the game and there's like maybe one or two guys. And then, of course, the bosses. Well, if you kill them, which I did, I think he tranked all of them. Now, as you can see, they go to sleep of their own accord here. They they do what they want whenever they want to do it. It's not something that's kind of like, oh, they're waiting for you, or they're waiting for a certain, you know, a certain preset thing to happen. It's not the case. 
This is actually just really nice, and it really just allows you to do whatever the fuck you want to do, which is incredible to me. But I think that's all it will show you um, here. Um, the game is currently $59.99, or your regional equivalent, basically everywhere. Um, it literally just came out. Like, yeah, yeah, it came out a couple weeks ago. Yeah. So, final thoughts, Mr. Sam? Uh, boners awesomeness to it. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm popping boners as Bearing, we speak. Like, my only real thing with this game is like, I don't like some of the controversy, you know, like because people just bitch about like literally anything anymore. And uh, oh yeah, we forgot to show you that stealth it up. Like you, you when you're crowd or when you're it prone, you can just like lie down fully. Mm-hmm. And, uh, oh, another thing we forgot to mention, the smoking the cigars to pass time. That's true. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't really done that yet. I haven't really found a need to do that yet. However, I'm sure later on you'll want to do stuff at night rather than, you know, in the day. Yeah. But, uh, the, back to my point. Like, you know... Everybody takes whatever reason they can to bitch and moan about some game doing this, that. Like, in this game, one of the big controversies was with, like, quiet, like, being just naked and never talk. You know, not naked, but, like, barely wearing anything and always, uh, you know, all the time and never talking. And it was just like, who cares? I mean, why do we have to bitch about that? I mean, why does that have to be a thing? Subject on board. Yeah, you know, it, it's you just the, that's one of those things that irritates me. But you know, obviously, you're gonna find that in pretty much every game these days. Somebody's gotta find something to bitch about. Yeah, that's just my two cents. Otherwise, I would definitely, you know, go out if I had the money and buy a PlayStation 4 and this game. Fucking play. Oh, actually, before we leave you, environmental events. Random as fuck? Check it out. So Sandstorm, so it's harder to see me. I can walk Sandstorm around freely now. Anyway, guys. My name is Eric. And Sam. And we give this game two boners up. Yes. Yep. D don't touch them, though. This is... No tips touching. No, no tips. <laughs> Anyways, for all of us here at Bit Nation. Peace out.